really in that moment, you don't have too much to say, but to just be there for him. And in that moment, when it happened, I mean, you can't you can't say nothing, but you got to support him in, in each second of the day, you know, um, because it's on your mind all the time and it, it never leaves. He really, the reason I started playing sports, and uh, he was like, he used to wake me up every day. I was like, we about to go, so we gotta go run. It'll be six o'clock in the morning, he'll wake me up, like, we gotta go run, we gotta go get better today. And I'd be like, oh, I don't wanna get up. <laughs> I don't wanna get up at all. But um, I mean, he really, I mean, he stuck throughout the whole process of me, you know, signing here and everything. So, I mean, he was a big part of, you know, me playing sport. Before even the process, he got in the hospital. There was something wrong with his hip. So I had went home one day. I took him to the doctor and everything. He was on meds and stuff like that to get better. So when I got back, like it was later on in the summer, my mom had called me and she was like, he's sick. With that phone call, I was like, all right, well, I mean, I've, I've gotten this phone call before. I feel, I feel like he'll be all right. And then I knew, you know, you know, towards the end, my mom was like, it's, it's getting worse, you know, and stuff like that. So I got to take my stuff away from like football and stuff like that and get away to go, you know, focus on that because, you know, he was a big part of my life, so I need to be there for him. He was always asking me, you know, for a jersey, and uh, I felt like it was the right thing to do at the moment. It was from the Egg Bowl. I played the most out of every game I played that year, last year, in that game, so I was like, I feel like I need to give him this. When I came in there with a jersey, his eyes got wide, so I knew, he, he knew it was beside him, like, he, he felt it. When he went home, I went home with him to see, you know, I made sure I was there to support him because, I mean, I went through the same thing and I know how I felt about that happened to my dad. And, I, and now me seeing that my best friend, it happened to him too. I mean, it, it kind of crushed me too. So, I mean, I hate to see him go through that. I didn't think it hit me until, you know, his passing. Cause I was like, I mean, I know he'll pull through. He'll be okay. He'll, like, he'll be all right. When I was in a little visitor room, my mom had told me, you know, you know, he passed away, so I went in the room, and when I'm, when I'm, I'm in there looking like, this can't be real. You know, my first mindset was, okay, I gotta be there for my, my sisters and my mom. As coaches, we've gotta be more than just X and O teachers. So I was fortunate in that schedule-wise, it worked out that I was able to be there for the funeral. So I, you know, got a chance to spend some time with them there. Um, I think that may have brought him a little comfort. And that relationship, you know, beyond just coach player, it's something that uh, that I was uh, very thankful I was having to be a part of. It took me a while to, you know, grasp it, to get back into the game. I feel like Coach Bate really helped me a lot with that. I would just go in this office and just talk to him, just be like, I mean, he would know, like he would look at me and be like, you know, it's, it's one of them days where I ain't in the mood to do anything. I go out there now with the mindset, you know, I, I just gotta get better. You know, I know he would want me to go out here, you know, and try to get better, and, you know, every, each and every day. But Braxton, I mean, I don't know. He 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 just bounced back with with a different demeanor. I think he had a purpose afterward. He he came back even harder than he was doing at first. So I think he was on a mission when he found out, you know, that his dad had passed. And I think he wanted to make his father happy. Split backs in the shotgun around Johnson, and they'll send King sprinting out to the right. They try to step the middle screen, bat it up in the air, and intercepted. Picked off by Braxton Hoyan. Tipped it to himself, and the Bulldog defense gets a takeaway. What a play from the young man from Pelham. As soon as he got the interception, I took smooth off right to him. I ran right to him and jumped on his back, and I told him, I said, man, our dad would be proud of us, man. They looking down right on us in the front seat. I think about it every day. I mean, even before games, you know, I just, or after games, because I mean, after every game, even like games he didn't come to, like he would call me and be like, you play, you, he'll tell me if I play bad or I play good. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I miss those phone calls where he can tell me, you know, he can critique my game, see how I play. It's just great to see him doing the stuff that he's supposed to be doing, you know, and what he deserves, you know, because he works hard every day and he and he's prideful about the game. He, he, he plays the game with a lot of joy. When I first got to school, I mean, I kind of, like my confidence level wasn't really high. With that situation, I mean, it made me a better person. It made me uh, realize a lot of things. I got to put stuff before me. Even at practice, you know, I think about the team. I don't really think about myself, really. You know, I think of how I can make the team better. 